Hey Sushis, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisha Marie and if this is your first time here, welcome. So today is really a hot mess to get ready with me. I'm actually really rushing. I need to head like out the door right now. But I wanted to come on camera and play with some of the items that I picked up recently from Sephora um, before and during the sale. I'm an employee so I get a really nice discount and so I wanted to snatch some of these things up before the sale actually commenced. Uh, so stay tuned for uh, some of the products that I picked up and then also some of the products that I also recommended to see why I love it so much and we'll go from there. And I want to apologize in advance. I don't have my mic on now. I didn't have, a, have it on for the majority of the video. I am so sorry. So if the quality isn't up to par, I apologize. I'm trying to speak from my diaphragm right now so that you can hear. But before I was just speaking real chill, before I realized I didn't have my mic on. So I apologize for that. But you still gonna enjoy the video, hopefully, girl. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all of that good stuff. Okay, let's get into it. So we're playing in some new-ish today. And uh, 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 I got stuff from um, Sephora. <laughs> It's an issue, it's a problem. Um, we're gonna play in some of the new items that I recently got as a part of the Sephora Spring Savings event. High key technically, I be having a sale all year round because I'm an employee and we get a discount. That's pretty good and it's been causing a lot of damage. But there were, there were certain items I wanted to hurry up and pick up before the sale really opened up to the masses because y'all be selling stuff out. So you're probably gonna see some items in here that I previously mentioned in my recommendations and then also some new products, but I need to do my face in less than like 20 minutes because I actually have to head out to dinner. I just did my hair. Hopefully it comes out good, child, because I am not a hair girl. But anyways, my face is already you know washed and prepped and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go in with these two priming recommendations um, that I have from Danessa Myris. She is that girl. I'm gonna go in with the Blurring Balm Powder first. You see, I'm like super low on this. But I didn't re-up because I just feel like I go through this so fast. I've been looking for other priming options. Um, actually, I got a new priming option today. Dang, I kinda wanna use that now. But use that. And I actually picked up not too long ago this the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer because I heard a lot of good things. But I'm just gonna use a tiny bit because I already got the blurring balm powder. So my face is gonna be looking extra matte. Like I want it to look matte, but I still want like a skin natural kind of look. Oh, I didn't put on my eye cream. Oh, hold on. Oh, here it is. This is from Clinique, the Vino, Vino Perfect Brightening Eye Cream. I just really like my under eyes to have some form of a cream or serum under there. I feel like it just helps to make my concealer and the powders that I put under there lay a little bit nicer. Mm-hmm, 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 let me turn this light. Okay, all right. Okay, and then the last step I go on is the Skin Powder Serum from Danessa. Have y'all been enjoying the sale? I honestly feel like, I mean, I shopped the sale before when I was VIB. When I hit Rouge, I shopped the sale. I was really excited to be at 20%. But I honestly feel like if you ain't if you not rouge, is it worth it? Another product that I forgot, or not another, but one of the products I forgot to mention in my recommendations video is this Anastasia Bra Freeze Gel. I actually like this. I've been on the market just looking for different eyebrow gels because I feel like it just has elevated my brow look. Ooh. My brow looks. And I feel like this does a good job with holding my brows in shape. I'm 
gonna try not to do a full beat today, but I got a lot of stuff to play with. <laughs> oh, I'll be like, oh, I'm just gonna do a light beat today and then boom, full face. So a new product that I picked up and I'm actually start with today, I think I'm gonna do like a little underpainting vibe, is this um, concealer or foundation stick from Hourglass in the color Espresso. I've been liking this as like my contour slash bronze. I mean, this is a little bit warm for me, but I really have been enjoying that. And trying to like switch up doing like the method in which I do my application. So I use this to bronze out the perimeter. I've been really enjoying this stick. So if you're still shopping the sale, because I know a lot of times we like shop more than once, right? <laughs> so if you're still looking for something to add, I highly recommend this from Hourglass. Hourglass, I actually bought a lot of stuff from Hourglass recently. And this is a brush that I recommend it to um, from Makeup by Mario. Love this brush. Remember, I'm going real fast. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna use my concealer from Too Faced. I didn't mention this in my recommendations, but this is like an OG, really good concealer. It's in the color Maple. This concealer gives a good amount of coverage, doesn't feel help, I mean, doesn't feel um, heavy. It's like hydrating but magnifying at the same time. I'm not sure if that's an accurate description, but that's how, that's the vibes it gives me. And while I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna do my brows. I'm going a little bit out of order, but y'all get the drift, okay? Okay, and I'm probably gonna fast forward this part because, yeah. And I really love this eyebrow pencil. This from NYX, the Lift and Snatch. It just helps to get that like laminated strobe-like look that I really be digging. And then I really love this. This was a recommendation um, from Benefits. It is the Professor My Brow Definer, and it just helps to give that added little detail, hair-like stroke in any gaps that you may have. So again, very natural kind of light beat today. Nothing too crazy, okay, okay. Time to blend out this concealer. You know what, and I forgot to spot treat. Ooh, because I've been going through some bumps lately, honey. These bumps been showing out on my skin. <sighs> you see that acne scar there? some around the perimeter of my mouth. I've been watching so many like haul videos. I'm like, yo, this really is like a makeup lover's like moment. <laughs> it really is like a fucking holiday. Like a celebration of the Sephora sale. It's crazy. All right, good. So canceled out some of the, the, the darkness around my mouth. Got my concealer, got the contour, kind of blended in, feel me? Now I'm gonna go in with like my skin tint, 
just to add that extra bit of coverage but even this this by itself like i'm kind of feeling you know like no foundation kind of look but that's not what that's not what we're gonna be doing today so um uh, we're Where is my skin tint? Hmm. Where is my skin tint? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I really don't have time for this. Okay, y'all, I don't know where I misplaced my foundation tint, but this allows me to go into what I ordered because I definitely ordered two more. <laughs> I ordered 15 and 14. Ooh, I could probably pay for 14 today. Yes, but I ordered 15 and 14 again. I have the 15, so I'm not gonna open the 15. I'm gonna open the 14. <clears throat> because I don't wanna have two 15s open, but I don't know where where it's at. But anyways, this is the Calibrate Free Dream Skin Tint. Let's see if this color, ooh, this is kinda light. Let's see. Let's see what the 15 was the best. That. Oh yeah, this 14 is a little light for me. It's a little light. I feel like I can make it work still. Them went into my contour, shit. But at least I have the 14 of mixed with maybe. But I didn't even have to use much of this to be honest. But I think I need to bring back some of this bronzer, bronzer slash contour. So I blended it out a little bit. I'm gonna go in, <coughs> excuse me. This is a soda Sephora. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty, the ultra creamy um, shape tape. I usually let it sit, but I literally don't have much time. So I'm just gonna go right in. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I need to go in with a cream blush. I'm gonna go in with the color Love from Rare Beauty. Cause I got their illuminating highlighter. I mean, illuminating blush in this color and I think I'm gonna use that today. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now my base is pretty much done. This is a light little beat. Now, I picked up two hourglass powders, ugh, honestly, because I didn't know which one would look best on me. I picked up medium first, but then I felt like it was too light. 
So I'm gonna go in with shade three today. I'm going to do a comparison in a video just to see like, should I keep both or should I return one? But this is the deep one that I picked up. Okay, I'm just. Make sure no creases there. And then, oops. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a brush first. Hmm. Okay, well, now I feel like this medium uh, is pretty, but It's not giving like a brightening effect that I would like. So I use that one to set. I'm gonna use the two. No, I keep saying medium, this is deep. So I'm gonna use this medium. Oh, and so I actually put in an order for the new press powder that they're coming in with. I'm supposed to get that later this week. So I'm excited to see how that looks, but mm, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? Mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Maybe two for under my eye. I'm gonna let that, let's see how that does baking. And then I'm just gonna use two with a big fluffy powder and just set the rest of my face. I mean, I keep saying freaking two, it says deep. Got a new brush. Okay, now I'm just gonna use this. So it's definitely a soft airbrush kind of finish. That's pretty. Hmm. You see, I hate when I sometimes when I end up buying two, I'm like, let me see which one looks best, and then I'm like, oh, well, I can use this one for this and this one for this. And then I end up keeping both. So some other items that I got was, this one I picked up from the store. This is from the one side. So I was seeing this like method of like blending out your under eye with a powder, with a powder from one side. So I'm gonna try that. And then I got the Hourglass Veil Powder Brush. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I'm getting past this cold I had, so. Oh gosh, I hate this. I always end up brushing. I just always end up brushing. I always have to like check that my camera is recording because it be, it just stops recording when it wants to. <gasps> I am not wearing a mic. <sighs> and I brought my mic in here. Oh my gosh. So the first half of this video is probably gonna sound like basura. It's probably gonna sound like basura. I am so sorry. Oh my gosh. I just realized, oh my gosh. I'm sorry you all, hopefully, I wonder if you hear a difference. Hopefully you do, and I'm so sorry, but the audio is probably gonna be basura. Let me see the softness, hmm, it's straight, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna go with a powder bronzer. Let me make sure I'm 
be trying, guys. Okay, I did it. So I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte today. And I'm gonna use this brush. They say, they say this brush gives you the perfect number, like amount of application or whatever. So let's try this out. Okay, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm going with a little bit of mocha mommy. Okay. All right. Now I've made under my eyes sit a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with this one size. This is the color medium five to kind of dust away. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that, okay. completely skip my eyes but we're gonna get there so next thing I want to go in with is some new blushes I picked up a lot of blushes and a highlighter from rare beauty I picked up the love blushing illuminating blush so this is the one I'm gonna use today on my face but I also picked up truth which is which is a beautiful berry tone I used that the other day and I also picked up joy which is more of like that peachy illumination and then I picked up um the highlighter reveal which is like this orangey blush I mean orange highlighter that I was like in love with when I saw it so and then I also picked up two demi glows I got trophy in truffle from Fenty and then that's rich I'm gonna be using trophies and truffle today so first let's go on with the rare beauty love here she is do I love yes it's pretty <gasps> I have not sprayed my face not once, baby. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna have to do that after this, but she is cute. Well, honestly, I wanna see some reveal on here. But you know what? I'm gonna spray my face a little bit before I put in reveal. I'm gonna go with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. to skip reveal today because i forgot i wanted to use trophies and truffle highlighter today from fancy i love this like really subtle glow it gives just a goldeny like it's beautiful and i feel like it doesn't emphasize well <laughs> never mind i do see some of my texture just got emphasized a little bit but Overall, it's just such a pretty golden skin tone glow. And I think that's the whole premise of that highlighter. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so I wanna just do this really quick with my eyes. So let's do this real quick. 
Another recommendation I forgot to mention in my previous video was the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 found, um, palette. I just feel like it's a, it has cool tones, um, warm tones, and you just get two in one instead of buying like two separate types of palettes. Like I still want to pick up the Makeup by Mario Master Mats, like the first one. Not so much the cool tones because I'm just not really a cool tone girl. I like cool tone like metallics, but not necessarily mattes. But this has both cool and warm tones, so I get two in one. So you know, I get mostly what it is that I want. And I'm just doing a simple like one shadow look, it's like nothing crazy. Next thing I recommended was from Lancome. This is their mascara primer. Cause I feel like it does such a good job just separating the coating the lashes and separating it. And then once you put your mascara on, it just really look like you got something going on, even if you don't got much. Remember in my recommendations video, I told you there's this mascara that I've been using, really loving. It is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. I feel like it does such a beautiful job like separating my lashes and just doing something to them. Like they're, they just look so much more visible. I love that for me. Okay. And it even does good with the bottom lashes as well. Not doing all that right now because I'm sure I'm late. I'm scared to even look at the time. Okay, so let's do, do an additional quick haul of other stuff that I got. So I got the Jackie Aina Discovery set. I'm definitely gonna wear one of the fragrances today. But I wanna do like a short little video using trying these out. And then I got this makeup remover from Elemis Hydrating Cleansing Balm. So I got the mini size just to test it out, see if I like it before I commit to a full size. And then this is the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil in the color Mango Passion Punch. I had the red one in there first and then I saw this girl in a video use this one and it had it so good on her. But now I kind of feel like I want the red one, but I'm no more makeup for the rest of this month. Like I'm on a makeup cleanse <laughs> or diet. I have my Dr. Dennis Gross gloss on, but I just wanna, I just wanna put this on. Mm. Ooh, this smells so good. Mm-hmm, I like it. Uh -huh, I like a lot. I didn't even put no primer on, I mean, no uh, liner on or anything. Um, am I forgetting anything new that I bought? I think that was a little bit of everything. Actually, with this mascara, I actually wanna go on with the Fenty Hella Thick. Two, that just gives it a little bit more oomph. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so I really like my Morphe. Setting spray, helps just melt everything together. And then after I do that with the defining mist, then of course I go with my one size because I want to lock this in. Okay, I'm gonna go throw on my clothes and then come and spray the Jackie Anna per perfume. Actually, no, I, I, I don't got time for all that. I don't got time for all that. Oh, well, okay, hold on, let me try. Let me try. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't have, <laughs> I do not have time to do the test of the fragrance on camera, but this is my final look using all of the products that I recommended and recently gathered from the sale. Do you like, do you like, do you like? I do. This is a quick, simple beat, but um, let me know what you have picked up so far during the sale. And again, I don't have my mic on. I am, this is, a, this, 
then you know what? I'm gonna put it up because if I don't, it's gonna get scrapped. And I, uh, yeah, anyways. So I'm so sorry that the audio is of poor quality this go round. I really do apologize. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. But this is the final look. And um, thanks for tuning in, baby. <laughs> That's all I could really say at this point. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are. And my stush babies, you know what I always tell you. Stay bold, stay beautiful, and stay stush. Till next time. Bye.